Oh, in this week's weekly English practice, ECB coach Darren tells us about the origin of the world famous Irish coffee. And he should know, because he's from where it was invented. Over to you, Darren. Hello and welcome to the weekly English practice from English Coaching Project. Hi, I'm Darren and welcome to this week's weekly English practice from English Coaching Projects. This week's weekly English practice is about the origins of the Irish coffee. So I think I'm going to go to the kitchen and um, try and make one. Um, before I go to the kitchen, maybe I should have a quick look at the ingredients. So obviously I need some boiling water, uh, in which case I'll use the kettle. Um, I need two teaspoons of light brown sugar. Uh, obviously I need brewed coffee. Um, and then of course, uh, two ounces of Irish whiskey. A typical one that we would use in Ireland would be Jemison. Um, and then I need uh, some... Uh, cream, heavy cream for topping, and uh, you could use, it says here, chocolate shavings for garnish, but um, I'm not going to do that, I don't think. You could also sprinkle on a little bit of coffee, actually, to make it look nice. Okay, so let's go, let's do this. And I've ended up with something that looks a little bit like, like that, but obviously... Um, back in the day, or maybe the traditional one would have like a stemmed glass. I just don't have the right glass here at home. Oh, and I forgot to say, just make sure you don't stir this. You gotta drink it this way. Mmm. Definitely don't stir it. Now, seeing as I'm here in the kitchen making coffee, um, I think I'd like to show you something that I really like, and I think it's even more typical of what you would get in an Irish home. Um, especially like uh, if you've got visitors or something, you're, you're probably really, you know, you're likely to offer them some cream in their coffee. Um, me, like during the Christmas period, obviously we had like cream for desserts and things like that in the fridge. So mm, for me, it was an opportunity to like extra cream in the fridge, take it out and just add it to my coffee. So have a look. So as you can see here, I've got like a, a regular cup of coffee. Well, that's what I would call it. Maybe in Spain, it would be an americano um and then i've you know slightly different to an irish coffee um i've just whipped this up a little bit more to a, a thicker kind of a substance and all we do is just add a dollop of cream or well let's go with more than a dollop let's go with a couple of dollops And that for me is a beautiful cup of coffee. It's so simple, but I really enjoy it. And again, don't stir it. Just drink it with the cream on top. And um, yeah, try it. So as always, you have questions to answer. So why not send them in to us via WhatsApp or, well, yeah, that's if you record your voice. And uh, in writing via email. Also, um, on page two, you have... A recipe to make an Irish coffee so uh, why not wait, make one for your family and then uh, talk about the topic that might be an idea <laughs> that's all for this week enjoy your Irish coffee bye bye
the charming story of how Irish coffee came to be. The origins of genius inventions often come from mundane or even accidental circumstances, but the story behind the origins of the Irish coffee is anything but. There's a rather charming story behind the origins of the Irish coffee. It is believed to have been created due to a mix of great entrepreneurial Clareman, a chef with a cheeky streak, and a stormy winter's night in Limerick. In 1943, Clareman Brendan O'Regan was appointed by the government as a catering controller at Foyne's Flying Boat Base, which catered for passengers travelling in the aircraft that could land on water. He was a notable figure for the Limerick area and was a huge part of its economic development for years to come, including setting up the world's first duty-free shop at what's now called Shannon Airport. Under O'Regan's dynamic management, the restaurant at Foynes quickly became regarded as one of the best in Ireland. He redecorated the space to give it a strong Irish character and sought well-educated people as restaurant staff in order to create a positive impression of Ireland. Among those that he hired was Joe Sheridan, who, as a chef, had been recruited to run the kitchen. It was Sheridan's blunt and confident application that won O'Regan's approval. It was just one long line. Dear sir, I'm the man for the job. Yours sincerely, Joe Sheridan. And it's hard to imagine how the drink would have been invented if it wasn't for that slight air of mischief and confidence to produce whatever the occasion demanded. Late one night in the winter of 1943, a flight left Foynes for New York. After flying for several hours in bad weather, the captain decided to return to Foynes to wait for safer conditions. A Morse code message was sent to the control tower to inform them of their return. And staff were called back into work, including Sheridan. The passengers gathered at Foyne's restaurant, weary and disappointed from the wasted trip. When asked to prepare something to warm them, Sheridan decided, you'd imagine with some degree of divilment, to put Irish whiskey in their coffee. Afterwards, a passenger thanked them for the coffee and hazarded a guess if it was Brazilian beans he had used. Joe jokingly answered, No, it was Irish coffee. A few weeks later, Sheridan knocked on O'Regan's office door to show off his new beverage in a stemmed glass and topped off with cream. How about that for eye appeal? O'Regan was asked, and he answered, Genius, chef. The drink was served to passengers at Foynes, and when it closed in 1945, they were moved to the airport at what is now Shannon, where the drink was served as a welcoming beverage. And this week's questions are... Describe how you make coffee at home for yourself, or how you would make coffee for a guest. How would you describe the coffee culture where you are from? Where would you recommend for the best cup of coffee where you live? What makes it so special? Do you like the concept of the Irish coffee? Is it popular on drinks menus in your neck of the woods?